Hey guys, welcome back for another video. If you're watching this video, hopefully it's because you were searching for how to solve one or both of the problems I'm going to talk about here. These are two very common issues with the Harmony ecosystem. One is your hub showing a solid red light and not being responsive. And then two is trying to connect to things like your Lutron account or your SmartThings account and not being able to getting an authorization error. I'm going to show you how to fix both of those right now. So this is probably the most common thing people run into with their Harmony system and they just can't figure out what's going on. There's a status light on the front of your hub. Now, normally it's showing green. I don't know if you can see it here because I got the phone on. There we go. So you can see the status lights down at the bottom. And when it's green, it means it's connected to your network and everything's hunky-dory. If it's solid red, that means the hub does not have a connection to your Wi-Fi or if you have a pro, the ethernet, but it means it's not gonna be able to talk to anything, solid red. So to fix that, usually you can just reboot the hub by unplugging it, the power cord in the back and plugging it back in. If that doesn't do it, the first thing to do is to reboot your router. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with your router. Doesn't mean it's configured poorly. Sometimes it just gets frozen up and just rebooting the hub will not fix it. You have to reboot the router and then wait about a minute and watch for that light. If it turns back to green, you're all set. That's all you have to do. If it still stays red and you've already rebooted the router, then the next thing to do is to reset the hub. Don't worry, you don't lose anything in your account. You're gonna unplug the power cord in the back and then right next to the power cord, I can't pull it out because my cords are all managed back there and it doesn't go anywhere, but right next to the power cord is a button and that's the pair button. All you do is unplug the power Wait a few seconds, hold down the pair button while you plug back in the power cord. And then wait about a minute and you should see the red light blinking. That means you're good to go, you've got a connection now and you can reset it up. Now when you open your Harmony app on your smartphone or tablet, you're gonna be presented with this screen. Now you'll see your hub there, whatever you happen to name it before. However, don't click connect because it's not going to work. What you need to do is, as it says, long press on a hub to forget it. This is like removing a glitched CarPlay connection and just re-adding it. So where it says home theater, that's the name of my hub. Just hold down your finger on that name and it will say forget. And then we'll have a blank thing there. And down at the bottom, you just click set up new hub and then it'll go ahead and find the hub. Now, after it does that, it will add it back to your account reset up all the connections you don't lose any of your devices nothing like that all your voice control still works and it should just work i don't know why it happens sometimes and not others mine happened to just trip because i had just added a new companion remote to go along with my elite and as soon as i added it to my account and the hub wanted to do something with it it just locked up and said, you know, error connecting to hub. I checked it, solid red light. So I had to go through all that. Now, the second part to this, if you use smart home accounts and devices, I hear use smart things and Lutron because I control a lot of smart home lights, plugs, switches, dimmers, fans, all that kind of good stuff tied into my activities and my remote control buttons. Those need to be re-logged into. This can be a very frustrating problem. Let me show you. So inside the Harmony app, click the hamburger menu and then down to Harmony Setup, add edit devices and activities. It'll connect to your account. Then we're going to go into devices and we're gonna go one at a time into whatever you happen to have connected as far as smart home services. Now this whole problem, we're gonna go devices, I'll show you smart things here. It doesn't matter. Both of these are going to show the same kind of problem. This is something that is a roll of the dice. If it's going to work right the first time or not, it has nothing to do with you, your equipment, your network, nothing. So just realize this is something you just have to try and see. You'll see refresh, re-login, and remove. Remove will simply do what it says. It's going to remove that account from Harmony. We don't want that. Refresh is not going to do us any good because we're not currently connected. So hit re-login. And what it's going to do is 
just before this screen, I'm already logged into SmartThings, but it's going to ask you for your account, email, and password. And then it'll get into here. Choose your location, whatever you've called yours in SmartThings. That's what your SmartThings hub is called. And then devices and locations, by default, you're going to allow Harmony to use everything that you have sent through SmartThings. And then just click Authorize. You can see it says Authorization Failed. That does not mean you did anything wrong. This is just the cloud servers trying to talk to each other and failing. So I'm gonna click open here and we can see it's failed in Harmony. Try again and cancel. All you have to do is keep hitting try again. Just do that over and over and over until it works. That's all there is to it. It's really dumb, but that's the fix. I don't know why it happens, but it happens. So that's it, that's the secret. When you get that authorization failed, try again, try again. It might take you 10 times in a row and not doing anything differently. Just hitting try again, home, okay, try again, home, okay, whatever. It just magically works sometimes and not others. That's it. Now, once you get that re-logged in, Everything will still be there in your account as devices. You don't have to add anything or configure anything. However, you do, if you have those smart home devices in your activities, need to then go back in and edit your activities and put those back in because unfortunately it's removed them from your activities, but that's all. You don't have to do any configuration with the actual devices. You just have to tell it to use them wherever you had them. So not a big deal. And of course, there's no login or anything for that. So there's nothing to go wrong. It's just a few seconds of work per activity. All right, that's it. Hope it helps.